It's something most of us take for granted. A good pair of shoes on our feet. In 2003, a man named Manny Ohonmi started Samaritan's Feet. He himself received his first pair of shoes at the age of nine in Lagos, Nigeria from a missionary. It's a passion of Manny's because Manny was a recipient of shoes when he was a kid in Nigeria many, many years ago, and now he's carried that passion on to start this organization. The shoes were a life-changing gift and a message of hope for Manny. Fast forward 28 years, and Manny created this. Samaritan's Feet, their mission, 10 million pair of shoes on the feet of 10 million children in the next 10 years. But it doesn't stop there. They serve impoverished children and adults all over the world, including here in the U.S. That's where people like Steve Smith come in. The six-time All-Pro wide receiver from the Carolina Panthers is one of their strongest supporters. Smith is part of the organization's Barefoot for Bare Feet movement started in 2007. This year, in Carolina's 16 regular season games, Smith is leaving his shoes at midfield at the end of each game to bring awareness to the fact that two-thirds of the world's population live on less than $2.50 a day, leaving many families unable to buy food and shoes. Smith wants to raise funds for 500,000 pair of shoes, and he and thousands of volunteers are distributing new shoes and socks in all the cities that the Panthers are playing in this season. Milton Dodd, a LifeTouch employee, has experienced the work of Samaritan's Feet up close. His company is a big supporter of the Barefoot for Bare Feet movement. I went to the Final Four in New Orleans, and we gave out 2012 pair of shoes, synonymous with the year, uh, in many different areas throughout New Orleans. Now, we all know Katrina hit New Orleans many years ago, and to be a part of that, that time, that point in time when you saw coaches and players and dignitaries throughout the NC2A side by side providing that service to the students of New Orleans. It was just really, it was really heart wrenching. Yes, it's easy to see how this organization's mission is gaining more and more support and awareness. On a more local level, South Dakota State University's football and basketball teams have gotten involved too. At a recent home football game, the coaches went barefoot for the beginning of the game. And at game's end, all the players and coaches took off their shoes and walked to the locker room barefoot to show their support. We, I think, were the first college football program to, to do something for Samaritan's Feed. And all we're trying to do is bring attention, draw attention to this great organization that uh, puts shoes on the needy. And, and it's a pretty simple deal for us. At the end of the day, that's what it comes down to people helping and serving other people. And those who serve usually feel the benefits too. Yeah, our, our team is uh, tremendously service oriented. We had some young men go out to Pine Ridge Reservation uh, that summer and do the same thing, uh, put shoes on, on young people out there. So our, 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 our guys step up for those things really easily. It's just part of our nature and some programs approach things differently. We, we just say, we get a lot, so we're gonna give some. But to celebrate with these kids, a less of uh, a message of hope and there there is more than what there is more available to you than what you are today and you could just see that gleaning in the eyes when those kids will they sit down and these strangers are washing their feet and talking to them encouraging them break, giving them a new pair of socks and then putting a new pair of shoes on their feet and then watching them walk away with a big smile on their faces as they go on and, and to, to take on their lives in, a, in hopefully a different way. Samaritan's Feet has served over four million impoverished children and adults in over 60 nations and continues to serve. They wash each recipient's feet, give them a new pair of socks and shoes, and then share a message of hope with each and every one of them. A message that Samaritan's Feet wants to spread all over the world. A message that instills confidence like it did with Manny, like it does with Steve Smith. Like it does with all its volunteers and donors, it's yet another great organization, literally putting their best foot forward. For more information on Life to the Max, go to our website at lifetothemax.tv.